President Joe Biden has released his fiscal year 2024 budget proposal, and I want to walk through some of the specifics here of this uh, budget proposal. A couple things up front to note, though, before we go through this. Uh, first, as we look at really good things on the list of items he's included as his priorities um, and that are listed within this budget proposal, it's not going to get passed as is. <laughs> The House majority, of course, is Republican, and so they will be blocking most of the good things on here. But the purpose of this whole kind of presidential budget proposal process is to make that contrast known in this current moment and put forward a list of good policies and make clear this is what the Republican Party is standing against. And so hopefully the messaging on this will be effective from the White House and from Democrats to really make clear in the eyes of Americans, that these things outlined that are popular are being prevented because of the Republican Party. And that is so important that that's known by as many people as possible. Second quick thing to note up front, a talking point I hear often in regard to situations like this um, and this specific situation is, yeah, Biden is, is uh, feeling free to propose good policies here because he knows it won't get passed, because he knows the Republican Party will stand against it. I just don't, my response to that talking point is I just don't think that's helpful analysis or valuable analysis because it's really easy to judge actions. It's a whole lot harder to judge interpretations of intentions. And often intentions just can't be known. So Biden, on a lot of the things we're going to walk through here, has been very specific um, on policies that he's pushing for. And the criticism to me should definitely be directed towards the entity, the GOP, and the individuals within the GOP who are actually preventing these policies from being implemented. So with all that being said, Let's dive into some of this. Again, this is his proposal. It won't get through. Congress actually has to pass it. And uh, then Biden signs off by October 1st, I think, on these budgets. But just to skim, I promise I won't read word for word all that's within this CNN article, but it's titled this part of it. Here's what's in Biden's budget proposal. A heavy emphasis on more reasonably and responsibly taxing those at the very top of our economic ladder. So a minimum tax rate or a minimum uh, billionaire tax, as has been put forward in the past, increasing corporate taxes, repealing Trump's tax cuts for the wealthy, leaving in the other tax cuts, uh, leaving in place the other tax cuts, but repealing those that apply to the wealthy, um, restoring the enhanced child tax credit, making sure Medicare is properly funded through those tax uh, increases on the very top of our economic ladder, reducing prescription drug costs for seniors through Medicare, capping the cost of insulin for all Americans. The Inflation Reduction Act did that for Medicare recipients, but for all Americans at $35 per month, making the enhanced Obamacare subsidies permanent, uh, increasing uh, free school meals to 9 million more children, trying to address maternal mortality, which this is a good example of something that the very politicians that represent the areas that are disproportionately benefit, that would disproportionately benefit from this type of policy um, are standing against it. Biden would provide $471 million to reduce maternal mortality rates and expand maternal health initiatives in rural communities as part of this, which again, the GOP disproportionately represents rural communities and is standing against important policy like that. Um, Medicaid, making sure that private insurance companies pay back whenever they overcharge for the actual amount that is needed. Um, addressing the cost of college within this, making community college free, universal preschool, very important. So many long-term benefits for people with uh, a policy like that. And um, child care let's see here trying to move a little bit quicker paid family and medical leave investing in climate change response and then increased military spending as well so hopefully even though again don't get your hopes up that a bunch of that will actually end up being passed but hopefully the contrast will be clear 
for a lot of people between the Democratic priorities and the Republican priorities because it is vast, it is significant, and so many good things aren't happening because of the modern uh, Republican Party. And of course, many within the Democratic Party who aren't as progressive as they should be, but um, as of now, the main thing preventing a lot of this is the GOP. Biden, a uh, quick clip here for you of him saying he's willing to negotiate with Kevin McCarthy if Kevin McCarthy will actually bring forward some policy disagreements, bring forward a proposal of his own. The, fact the Speaker Whoa. of the House has been, he's a very conservative guy and he has even more conservative group with him. But he and I met early on and he said, what are we going to do about the budget? And I said, oh, let's make a deal. Let's meet. I'm, I said, I'm going to introduce my budget on the 9th of March. You introduce yours and we'll sit down and we'll go line by line and we'll go through it. We'll see if we can agree on it or we disagree on and then fight it out in the Congress. So I want to make it clear, I'm ready to meet with the Speaker anytime, tomorrow, if he has his budget. Lay it down, tell me what you want to do, I'll show you what I want to do, see what we can agree on or we don't agree on, let's see what we, we vote on. Now, when your policy really is opposition, that's the focus. It's hard to bring forward a clear um, discussion that you want to have about policy positions and policy disagreements. And we'll hear a lot of misunderstandings and miscommunications of what Biden is pushing for, namely that, oh, it's so irresponsible, the spending, and he's going to increase taxes on you to pay for it, when in reality, it's just impacting those at the very uh, top of our economic ladder. And reminder that the most wealthy individuals in our society, billionaires, as we've seen uh, in the past through excellent reporting, will pay an effective tax rate in the single digits, way lower than many um, who make far less than those individuals. And so we need to make sure the proper amount of revenue is coming in from those individuals. Um, and Biden's making that a priority there and so they'll say to their audience he's raising taxes on you he's raising tax on you when in reality unless they're speaking just to an audience of very very wealthy people that's not exactly accurate and the increased taxes that he is implementing would cut the deficit this is what the proposal is purporting to do um would cut the deficit three trillion dollars over the course of a decade and so the whole democrats are the irresponsible individuals when it comes to fiscal policy also is inaccurate because again it would cut the deficit three trillion dollars over the course of a decade so we can have good policy we can properly invest in programs that improve the lives of americans and still not be doing crazy uh debt increases but the republican party is going to stand against that and uh we'll still be spreading all the talking points about what is being pushed for by the Democrats. And I'm sure we'll, we'll hear plenty about woke, 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 because that's the best distraction from a meaningful policy discussion, because when it comes to policy, the Republican Party does not have a popular uh, set of policy positions, as we've discussed extensively on this show. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are uploaded to YouTube, plus get the full bonus show every single Saturday, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. That's patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. Link in the description.